Welcome back. I'm Nicole W, and this is Stone Block Two, the very first episode. I just spawned in, and there's nothing here but stone and torch. Just one torch and me. Uh, so you get a pet rock, some stonium to tame your pet rock and feed your pet rock. We're not going to do that. Uh, also an apple and a quest book. If you notice, there is EMC. We've been playing a lot of packs with uh, Project E in them. Uh, but I will show you in order to get the transmutation table. It's going to take a while. So, yeah. So we're going to need dragon egg. We're going to need Neutronium Nuggets, they're not easy, uh, Night Slime Ingots, we're going to need an Energy Condenser, so the Energy Condenser is Fusion Crafting, so, and an Alchemical Chest is not too terrible, um, we could do that, that's not a problem, but yes. And the Philosopher's Stone is hmm, pretty difficult as well. So it is not something that we're going to be able to just get into. Uh, the Repair Talisman is not great, but not as hard as the others. So maybe that's something that we look into. The Watch of Flowing Time, not too terrible. Um, and then the pedestal, of course, is the same. But again, you're going to have to have a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff to get to that point. And then this is even worse. Yuck, you gotta have chaos shards for that. So that's not fun. Okay, but uh, so it's not gonna be just a matter of getting um, like just a table going and getting stuff that way. So if we look at our quest book, we do have different tabs. I believe this pack is 1.12, uh, so it is kind of an older pack. So this is our starting tab. We also have storage. There's not a whole lot of quests uh, compared to the last couple packs that I've done. We do have chickens in here, which I would like to get to the sooner the better. We also have Fluid cows, which I would like to get to the sooner the better as well, because these could be very beneficial. Uh, we also have mystical agriculture, which could be beneficial. Uh, and then there is a few for Draconic, a few for Project E. Uh, notice the bonsais are not here, but we do have... Oh, well, that's maximum amount of EMC. So we are going to have to get a lot of EMC. Um, we do have, look at this, we have infinity armor, and that's awesome. So maybe we can get this and then go kill the chaos dragon. And then there's Thomcraft. So... Um, not sure I want to do Thumbcraft, honestly. Uh, that one is up for debate. So, to get started, we have to get pebbles. So, we need 16 of them. In order to get them, we have to break the stone with an empty hand. So, that is the key, an empty hand. So we're going to see, and then we got to that. So let's go ahead and break these. All right, I'm going to move this torch. 
Ooh, super dark. To the center of the room, it makes it a little bit brighter everywhere we go. And then one more, but now it's uneven, so we've got to break this one as well. Okay. So let's take a look at the book. The book is also up in the corner. You don't have to have the book on you. Uh, so we get a random reward. Cross your fingers. It's something really, really good. All right. Flux storage. That could be not bad. All right. So we need 12 cobblestone blocks. So we combine four pebbles and two cobblestone. We'll get a random reward. That's what I like about this pack is that, ooh, uh, oh, see, there's five. We're going to have to break some more. Uh, let's go ahead and start breaking these as well. We're going to have to make our room bigger. Uh, 16, 16, 20, so 20 makes 5. Do these. Does this make 7? There we go. So there is our cobblestone. Oops, it's awesome. Cross fingers crossed. Capacitors. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh let's see a cobblestone chest, but we need a stone crafting table. So um I think yep. It's like that. So we have a stone crafting table. Uh, we'll just put it there. And then I think we could do a cobblestone chest. That's a furnace. Make a furnace anyway, because we're going to. We're going to need a furnace. All right. Uh, so back to breaking stone. Oh, let's see what our reward is. Oops. Maybe it's something good. A generator. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So we do need, sometimes you can get like a hammer or a pick which makes this a lot nicer and a lot easier. Uh, let's go over here. I'm trying to make it as even as possible because I know some people have problems with that. I know I do sometimes. It... Yes and no, it's weird. It's off and on. Uh, okay, so if we look up uh, the chest, the cobblestone chest is these cobblestone parts, which is two cobblestone. So we need more than five. Uh, all right. So I guess we'll be breaking these guys as well. Gosh, I would like to get more than like request done today <laughs> uh, let's see I think we need eight one two three four we're actually gonna need to make a lot of these uh but for now, do that. I'm, I'm really glad we've got the generator, which 
really nice. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to put these there. Uh, let's see what we got for this. Another generator. Nice. So we're going to need a stone hammer and dirt. So our generator there. Um, we're going to need more, more stone to make, uh, sticks with. Okay. So we look up a stone hammer. Wow. There's a dark cave. Okay. So we're going to have to use the rods because we don't have wood. So stone rods is that. So we essentially need four. I have four. This. This. This makes a stone hammer. Now we are going to need dirt. So what we can do. Take this hammer. And now we're getting a piece of cobble oh okay oh let's grab this as well okay so in order to get dirt you know how you get gravel by hammering that and then get dirt not sand so, if you uh, hammer it again, then you get sand. Then if you hammer the sand, you get dust. So, there's an extra step in this pack. So, we have both of these. We got another generator. What are the odds? Uh, so, we need a stone crook. So, it can be used on dirt to get any vanilla sapling. You can rapidly sneak to speed up the growth of nearby crops. So, the best way to grow dirt. Let's uh, get... Probably going to need more than a couple pieces of dirt, honestly. Uh, we do need this. Sorry. No, it's uh, dark when I do that. Uh, okay, so we are going to need a stone crook. I bet it's full blocks. I do this every time, right? And it's like stone crook. Yep, it's full blocks, not sticks. All right, we can use those to make more hammers, which we will need to do in the future. So, we do that. We have a jungle sapling. I don't know if we can grow a jungle sapling. Hmm. Curious. Let's see what our ran random reward is. Won't well, we won't starve to death? <laughs> That's good. And then we need 16 of any wood. So let's see. Can we? I'm going to put this in there. Can we get this guy to grow? I don't know. We might have to do another piece. Oh, we did. Yay. All right. So we do have vein mine, which is nice. So we're going to have to keep doing that until we get 16 pieces of wood. And you notice we got silkworms. So we do have X Nilo and uh, we are able to sift 
four items, which is good. Um, kind of want to. We need to sift for items. Uh, and I'm thinking, um, I'm sure you can hear my shift key. Uh, I want, I want to be able to expand out long distances. So we're going to need torches. I would like to do that as soon as possible. So we're going to need to need to get to thieves uh as soon as possible we're gonna need um well we have we could make charcoal what is going on i guess my pinky gave out on me there we go I don't know how to get it to not come up with the different morph stuff. Okay, so I think we got that done. So what is our reward? An item magnet. Could be good, could be good. So we can go into tinkering and go that direction. Uh, which will lead us into clay and the sieves. Uh, we also are going to need the uh, string to get into the sieves anyway. So, uh, maybe I do that before the next episode. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make these things off camera. They want a tool forge. That's a lot of metal. For getting into any of this stuff. Oh, because I can do this already. All right. Okay, so the crucible. Uh, it'll have to be a jungle crucible. And then we will bookmark that as well. So we need to make lab. and get never made a jungle crucible before uh we'll just go ahead and put it there let's see do we have i don't think i don't feel good giving away my saplings yet oh uh put that away and put that away let's see what we got auto sifter that's interesting uh so now we can make some clay okay so we put items like leaves in here i'm not sure how many uh it's gonna take actually uh if we right click this does it not Say maybe made the regular one does okay. So it doesn't say how many. Oh, it does say 
how much water it makes. Okay. I don't see jungle saplings. Oh, regular saplings. Okay, so it's going to take 10 saplings to make a bucket of water. A bucket worth of water. And then if we put clay in there, it'll make clay. Okay. So, off camera, I'm going to end the episode there. This is our first episode. Sorry it's so dark. It's just very, like, I don't know. I'm going to put that there so it'll start growing. Um, probably make another uh, broke. I don't know why I only make one at a time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, this is pretty much it. Like, we're going to follow this. Try to get to automation as soon as possible. I also want to dig out a long enough path away and get enough dirt laid down to where we can try to get a grass seed and get grass growing so we can and light up the area so no mobs will spawn. Uh, so we can get start getting chickens and cows and go down that path. Because the cows are interesting. You can milk them and get the liquid. Then you can use like the tinker's uh, table to form the ingots out of it. Um, or you just save it in tanks and do whatever with it later. Uh, with the chickens, you guys have seen chickens on my channel multiple times. So I probably won't show too much of the chickens, um, but those are going to be important later on. So uh, getting getting those things early is going to be key, but we're also going to do automation through sifting, auto sifting and all of that stuff as well. Um, but I'm glad to get back to a pack that requires me to actually do stuff in the beginning and work for my resources instead of just getting EMC and using it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.